So, are these earrings as easy as I thought they were going to be to make? Mm, no, but that's completely okay, because today I'm going to take you step by step how to make these gorgeous UV resin earrings. What's going on, my fellow jewelers? I'm excited to show you how to make these earrings. I don't know if you guys saw my other video. I made similar ones, but a circle-shaped bezel, and those were so easy, like easy to put together, easy on the tape, easy to add the UV resin. And so when I saw these shaped bezels, I was like, I have to do the similar technique. It's gonna be super, super easy peasy mountain squeezy, but it was not. There's so many little details. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't, ah, ah, ah. But I'm gonna take you step by step how to make it. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel click that bell get notifications because I love teaching you guys how to make jewelry one of my favorite things in the whole wide world so I know I'm excited to teach you I know you're biting at the bit to make it so you and me let's get this UV party started okay I'm excited to make these fabulous earrings you know in one of my videos I made these guys which is similar technique but with the circles you can honestly put this uh, small circle anywhere uh, next to the big circle and it'll be the perfect shape. With these, these are a bit harder. They take more patience and time. And so just be patient with yourself about getting these in the right spot, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I want to undo my tape. I want to roll up my tape. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut, 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 cut. Here we go. I'm gonna cut this. And then before I get any of them on, I am going to roll this right here. I'm actually going with this side because I like holding things with my left. Ooh, and there's dirt. Try not to get dirt on your tape. That's really bad. So this is, oh, <laughs> I totally messed up with my tape. I thought I was putting them all individually. I don't know why I had a brain fire. I thought I was going to put them all next to each other. I'm, I'm, I don't need that big of tape. Oops. <laughs> anyway, you know, have you ever had one of those days, one of those moments? One of those years. Okay, anyway, so I didn't need that big of tape. So let's do the first one where we're going to place it. This one doesn't really matter. You're going to run your finger along it so that you know that it's sticking on the tape and there's nowhere for the UV to go. This one, this is the hard one and the next one is the hard one. So just be patient, just take your time. So we're, we wanna get it absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna first push it against up at the top. Do you see that? I'm gonna push it up against the top and then I'm gonna push down. And see, oh, this is the part. Like the circles were so easy. They just, you put them right next, you put the small circle right next to the big circle and it just had the perfect shape, size, all that. This, see how this is bigger on this side than this side? This is gonna drive me nuts. So I'm gonna re, I'm gonna try to redo it. Oh, this, this is the part. This is good that you're seeing this because I struggle with this. Okay, that's much better. Do you see it's a little bit more even on this side than this side? And we're going to put our finger around it. Now, some of you are like, you can't retape it. Uh, I just did. <laughs> you, you don't wanna, you really don't want to put it down and then unstick it, put it down and unstick it. But when you're a perfectionist like me, then you just kind of want to make sure that it's even on these two sides. So then comes the next hard part because you don't want to put too much to the side. You want to put it right in the middle. So we're going to. I might put my head in the shot. We're going to put it right there. Ah! That's not where I want it. So we're gonna try again. Cause I want it more. I might have to put, so I might do it crooked, right? See like a ah, like that. I might do it sideways so I can see where I'm actually putting it. Oh, I might just need to leave it alone. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go now. It's not gonna be perfect. And you shouldn't try like I just tried. It's not gonna be perfect, but um, it's good. It's really good. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the second earring, right? You're like, you're doing double time. You're doing it twice. And so I'm gonna fast forward through and then we'll go to the next step. So we did it. We put them all on the tape where we wanted it. Now there is a different way you can do this. Instead of taping it right inside of each other, you can do them all individually, right? You can do them all individually and then stick them one on top of the other. I'm gonna get real close to the camera. Do you see how one on top of each other? But the problem with that is you're gonna need an electric drill to drill through all three of those. And so then you would stick them together with UV. I find the one, this technique that we just did right here, um, it's a lot, it's difficult in some areas, but at the end of the day, it's probably the best way to do it instead of trying to, uh, to glue all, well, UV all three of these one on top of each other. The next step is we're going to 
uh, mix our colors together. So get your gloves on for this part. Don't get your gloves on for the tape part. Get your gloves on for this part. Gloves are so important. We're dealing with chemicals. And I, I always wear a respirator, but when I do a, a video, I don't wear my respirator because um, you can't hear me and my, my, I'm muffled and stuff. And so wear a respirator, wear your bad clothes or an apron and get your gloves on to protect yourself. So we're going to, I'm gonna push this up here. Okay, you really don't need much for each one. Like the, it's barely any, right? You don't need much. I'm doing a lot more than I probably should. <laughs> and then we're getting our popsicle sticks. I like to break them in half because I don't need them that big. And now we're gonna get our colors. Ooh, I love colors. I'm excited to put these colors in here. I got a really dark, beautiful, vibrant pink. Now with UV, you can't do the colors too dark because the light won't penetrate when you're putting the UV light through. It won't penetrate through and it won't dry it properly. That's why sometimes you have sticky because you put a black color or you put a really, really dark color. You don't wanna do really dark colors um, you want to be able to have the light penetrate pretty well. I think I wanted to do more, so. And I gotta mix it really well, so you wanna make sure the powder is all mixed in there, okay? Wanna make sure the powder is all mixed in there, because you will have streaks when you dry it. It won't be that pretty. You wanna mix the color really well. And then you try the color test. And what the color test is, you're going to lift your stick up, and when a lot is dripped off, that's the color it's gonna be, and that's pretty uh, see-through to me. So I wanna actually, uh, I wanna get this stick. I wanna actually do more. I'm, I wanna do more. And that's, that's a good amount. That's a really good amount. So I'm gonna mix it some more and then we'll go to the next color. All right. So now to the next part, we're gonna put the colors in the section we want it. Tip of the day for you is that make sure you have enough resin to put in two earrings. Cause what happens if you only do one resin, a uh, color uh, enough resin for one earring is when you go to color for the next earring, the colors will be off. No matter how hard you try to make it the same color, the colors are just gonna be off. So make sure you mix up enough resin to do for two earrings, okay? So here we go. This is very delicate. You gotta do the very delicate part. So I'm gonna do the white first. You want to you slowly okay you want to go in there you don't want to overfill it so you want to do that and then you can either get a toothpick I have a handy dandy tool I have this guy that I spread it around spread it around beautiful and I'm gonna spread around the other one And you gotta make sure there's enough for it to go all the way around, okay? Now I'm gonna get heat and I'm gonna pop my bubbles. Heat pops bubbles. So we're gonna get the heat, we're gonna pop all the bubbles. Now what I wanna do is I actually wanna do a flash dry so that it doesn't spill on to, like I don't bump it and it doesn't spill on to the next section. Or if I accidentally drip a pink on there, it'll mix together. I could just wipe it off really well. So I like to dry each section as I go along. We're just gonna quick flash dry it and then we'll go on to the next section. Mm. Oh, it's such a pretty earring. I love this earring. So on to the next one. I just wanna do a quick mix and then we're gonna go very, 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 very carefully so I don't get it in the other section. I'm gonna dab it right there. You really don't need a lot. I could have probably made like 10 earrings with this amount of resin that I did. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I don't wanna use my popsicle stick to get it really uh, in the narrow sections. I'm gonna use this baby to do it. You can use a toothpick, you can use um, a different tool, but just to spread it, and you wanna get it in all the cracks, and some of the cracks are very, 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 very thin. And you try, so we're gonna move it all around. Okay, I need a bit more, so I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna dab it right here. And I'm gonna hurry and spread it over here. Spread it all the way to the top, pushing it. 
Okay, all that looks looking good. And then we're gonna do this side and then we will do a flash dry. The flash dry, now it's time to do the darker pink. Okay, again, being very careful as to not get it overflowing. There's not a lot of space in this. Oh, it's gonna overflow, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry so we don't overflow. We gotta move it around before it overflows to the next. Yes, this one's a little bit harder, trickier, because of how narrow the um, between the two bezels are. So trying to not get it to overflow, but not having a gap either, because you want the resin to go all the way in the cracks. It's a little bit difficult, but it's gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna go into this one, and then we will do the next step. Okay, so before we dry on both sides, right, we did quick dry for all of it, before we dry both sides, we wanna put a top coat um, of clear resin. Um, one, it's a nice finish, but two, it also can help prevent from it actually breaking up. Like if the layers are too thin, then, um, then it can break. I really like this tool. Um, all the things I'm using today, you can check in the description below. I have links for all of them where you can find them, the colors, all of that. So we've so. done it. Now we are going to dry it on both sides. We're gonna dry this like for one to two minutes and then we're gonna flip it over and dry it again. And then we'll make it into earrings. I'm so excited to make these babies into earrings. So let's take them off the tape and then we will make them into the earrings. Ooh, the ending, the, the grand finale, I love it. So I'm gonna pull these off gently, carefully, patiently. That wasn't very patient, does patiently. Oh. Um, there may be some tape residue. The tape likes to stick to it. And so I, one of the things I like to do, I just like to rub my finger along there to get rid of the tape. We got this, so pretty. And then we are just going to make them into earrings. So this is the top, this is both the top. Okay, so I just got my, my screwdriver and I gotta put, I'm gonna put in the white part, okay? I'm gonna put in the white part. I wanna get in the right place. And so I bent my screwdriver a while ago. I'm going to screw it by hand until I make a hole so I can get my jump ring in there. Oh my word, this is taking forever. Oh, I think we got it. Yes, okay, we got it. Whew. Okay, lovely. And I did a hole in the other one already. So now I just need to put my jump rings on and my, my fish hooks, and these will be earrings. All right, so let's get our jump ring in there. So we're gonna open it up. We're going to open it up like so, and then we're going to get it through the hole. Perfect, yes. And we're gonna close the jump ring up, making sure that it is um, completely touching each other. So you want the jump ring to be like this, okay? Not like this, not like this, not even like that. You want the jump ring to be completely touching each other so that your earring does not come apart. And then we're gonna put on the next jump ring. This, um, the reason I do two jump rings is so that it faces the right way when you put it in your ear. And then we're going to face it the right way. So this is my front. So I want my, um, this being my front. I want my um, shepherd's hook uh, pointing in the, the, the opposite direction, not uh, the way it's facing. So we go like this. And that, my fellow jeweler, is how you make these cute, fun, layered earrings. <laughs> So it's the end of my video and that means I pray for you guys. That's right. I love praying for my viewers. And so today the Lord was showing me like some of you um, feel like things are never going to end. Have you ever heard that scripture that joy comes in the morning? It doesn't necessarily a morning of like the AM, but it can mean just like a season of where it's been dark. It's been feeling like night. It's just feeling like struggles and joy comes in the morning. Well, for some of you, it feels like it's never going to be morning. It feels like the storm keeps raging on. It feels like it's never going to get any better. You're never going to turn the corner, but I want to 
pray over you. The Lord wants me to pray over you that things are going to change, that the morning's going to come, that there's going to be a turning of a corner and that everything's going to start turning around in your favor instead. Okay. So Lord, I know that there are seasons that we just have to go through that are hard, that are dark, that are winter, that are night, that just feels like unending. And so for my viewers, I've been going through a season where it feels like the night is never ending. It feels like the winter is never going to end. It feels like things are never going to turn a corner. I just proclaim right now. I pray right now in Jesus name that there's going to be morning very soon. Now, immediately, I say that they're going to turn a corner. I pray for our turning of corners. I pray that the winter will turn into spring and they'll start seeing some life again. Lord, I just pray that you'll turn their situations around and bring a new day and a new season and a new refreshing. In Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, going along on that journey with me. Guess what? I'll catch you in the next video. Maybe right there or right there, right there. Go check them out. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.